a very special edition of Faith and Friends. It's our summer concert tour, and we are ready to take you all throughout the region and let you know what exciting events you should put on your calendar to enjoy some incredible music that gives all glory to God. What a wonderful day we're enjoying here as we're visiting Wapakoneta, we're visiting Kenton, we're visiting Westminster, and we're also visiting St. Mary's. Four free concerts that you, your family, your friends can enjoy this summer with some excellent acts, some food will be involved as well, games, and Jennifer might even get her face painted. Well, you just never know. You're going to have to come out to these events to find out. Maybe we could get our face painted together, or maybe we could get Andy to get his face painted. My daughter would love that. She dresses me up in ways I will no longer talk about. <laughs> Things we will not show on television, <laughs> huh? Okay. You know, the Bible says that we are to make a joyful noise. Over and over again in the Bible, it talks about praising the Lord, worshiping Him. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Most High. And in the months of July and August, like Andy said, there are four free summer concert opportunities that you can come out and praise the Lord in so many wonderful ways. And we're going to start off our tour in Wapakoneta with the Family Faith and Friends concert taking place in mid-July. Here's Zach. Well, thank you guys. We're kicking off our summer adventure right here in Wapakoneta where we're preparing for an exciting concert coming up. It's the Family Faith and Friends Summer Concert. And joining me now to talk a little bit about that is Connie Schreer and Pastor Kim Pope Cyberling. Guys, thank you so much for being on with us today. Thank you. Well, tell us a little bit about the lineup this year. Of course, the big headliner, Audio Adrenaline, but a couple of openers as well. We do have a couple of opening bands. Starting at 5 o'clock, we are going to have Oasis Ministries, followed up by City of Bright. Very exciting. You said 5 p.m., and so ticket price is actually pretty reasonable, isn't it, uh, Kim? Yes. Admission for everyone is free. It'll be in an open-air park, so please remember to bring your lawn chairs and a blanket, and there's plenty of room for everyone. Now you guys are in your fourth year of doing this. Very exciting. You've had some great bands come through. Tell us a little bit about just the mission and the heart behind this concert. The mission and the heart behind bringing this to Wapakoneta is really to share the message of Christ, mm -hmm. to bring the good news and to bring it in a way that's entertaining, it's fun, it's free. Um, our goal has always been to provide an event um, that brings Christian entertainment for the entire family to the community and that also, as I said, brings the message of Christ to those who may not have heard it yet. Yeah, absolutely. And we know certainly that we know uh, several families that enjoy these summer concerts, a great way to bond as a family, to bring the kids out and to enjoy hopefully some great weather as well. Now, will there be any sort of food or refreshments? Uh, what should families plan on for that? We have food, we have concessions, we have lots of fun things for kids to do. Um, come out early, come hungry. Um, we have drinks, we have food, um, tattoos for the kids, face painting. Um, there's always something going on. It's really something for everybody. How exciting. So if we want some more information on this, Pastor, how can our viewers find more information? Um, you can find us on Facebook at Family, Faith, and Friends Summer Concert. We are on Twitter. We're on Instagram. Um, you can call either of our churches. Uh, the church that I'm involved with is First Church of New Knoxville in New Knoxville, okay. Ohio, and also uh, First Methodist Church here in Wapakoneta. Well, we want to say thank you to you for putting this event on, and uh, we're excited to be hopefully attending it this year, and for all the families, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. All right, we're going to throw it to you now. Take it away to our next summer venue. We're a band. We're a band with guitars. And you remember that song on the first Audio Adrenaline album? I don't album? remember it being Mark Stewart stung. was. I don't remember it crazy. quite like that. That's how it went. Just they were they were like rocking out. It was heavy metal, and now. They've changed. <laughs> they have changed. You know, audio Adrenaline coming to Wapakoneta. Yes, it's going to be, there's going to be drums, there's going to be guitars, it's but there's house. definitely going to be worship It'll to be our Lord night. and Savior, great Jesus day. Christ. It will be a great day. Mm. And you know, and here's the challenge for you. Can you make it to two summer concerts <laughs> in the same day? It's going to be a challenge, but you might be able to do it. And here to tell us more is Mark Kuntz. Our next free summer concert to tell you about is in Kenton, the Kenton Cruisin. I'm joined now by JT Rupert, who's involved with the Kenton Cruisin. JT, thanks for uh, spending some time with us. And yep. tell us, I mean, we've got uh, seventh time down the headliner. They're just one of many bands who are going to be in Kenton coming up in July. Correct. We've, uh, we've got local bands uh, coming in for the morning hours. Uh, we have a wide range of 
of uh, types of artists, from rap artists to gospel quartets to a pickin' and grinning band, all the way up to some, uh, some rockers. And uh, we're bringing in uh, Ryan Stevenson, uh, Jonathan Thuleen, and then Seventh Time Down. And uh, we also got from Pennsylvania this year Apologetics. I don't know if you're familiar with them. They're kind of like the uh, Christian Weird Al Yankovic type, <laughs> type band. So it'll be a lot of fun this year. Kenton Cruzen is like many of these summer concert series that we're focusing on today's Faith and Friends. You guys have been gaining steam the last couple of years, and it's really been amazing the way the Lord has been working through the Christian music industry here in West Central Ohio. Correct. Yeah, it started out in 2005, and uh, we were lucky to have 150 people there. And over the last few years, we usually get right around 3,000 people throughout the day. And it's kind of funny how the name came about. It started out as a car show with a couple bands, and now there's no car show, but there's a lot of bands, so... Uh, we, we've kept the name because people know what it is, and uh, it's, it's just a great day on July 18th. And July 18th? Correct. Uh, St. John's United Church of Christ, we, uh, we block the streets out front and uh, put up bounce houses and all kinds of kids' events for people to, uh, to enjoy. Uh, that's all free. We also give away hot dogs, uh, have all kinds of different food, Sweet Caroline's barbecue chickens here, and uh, we put the stage directly across the parking lot. And uh, the neighbors sometimes don't like us for a few hours, but uh, it's just a fun-filled day. As you mentioned, you've got stuff for all the ages here coming up at the uh, Kenton Cruising. Correct, and uh, we even have a 5K run walk in the evening. It starts at 6 o'clock, runs through the streets of Kenton, uh, starts at the church, ends at the church, and uh, we have great prizes for that as well. But, yeah, it's just a, it's just a fun-filled family day. It's our way of uh, giving Christ back to the community in a, in a free manner so that everyone can come and whether you have a nickel in your pocket or not, you can have something to eat because we, like I said, we give away all the hot dogs. Ten years now the Kenton cruising has been going on. What do you remember the most? What do you look back in this last decade? What, what strikes your heart the most when you think of the Kenton cruising? Uh, just many years we've had lots of people come to know the Lord. People that uh, had never heard of, of Jesus Christ before and they, they came here and through the gift of music have experienced him and um, I remember Adam Crabb a few years ago from the Crabb family uh, sat outside after his event for a half hour talking to a couple and uh, led him through the sinner's prayer and it was just a, a marvelous day. Music is such a great way to reach not only the Christians, but also it's a great way for Christians to bring their non-saved friends in. Is that something you guys have experienced through the years? Absolutely, yeah. There's, uh, you get all different kinds here, and, uh, and that's, what, that's what we want. We want people that don't know the Lord to come. We want the people that do know the Lord to come and, and just invite everyone you know. Uh, we've, had, we've had new families join our church through this event. They show up, they enjoy the event, they find out that they like our church, and, and the rest is history. All right, that is the Kenton Cruising coming up Saturday, July 18th at the St. John's United Church of Christ here in Kenton. Another one of the great summer concert series we're highlighting today on Faith and Friends. And Andy and Jennifer have more. Thank you, Mark. Moving west from Kenton to Westminster, where we're getting ready for the 11th Music in the Park. Right here on July the 26th between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. We're joined by Dustin Morris, the stage manager and Mr. Everything. Does a little bit of everything here at Music in the Park. How excited are you for this year? Oh, it's going to be great. We've got some great groups coming out. We have the Perrys, which is going to be our Southern Gospel group. Uh, Among the Thirsty, they're a contemporary Christian group. They're kind of up and coming. And then comedian Tim Lovelace. Uh, actually, he's a Hall of Fame inductee. Hmm. So so we're really excited. We're going to have the same stuff we've had in the past. We're going to have the inflatables for the kids. Uh, we're going to have free food. Mentioned free. Free food. Free I'll food. be there. So, <laughs> so yeah, eat up as much as you want. Um, it's going to be on the 26th of July right here in the park. Um, just all we ask that you bring a lawn chair and a smile on your face. What else do you enjoy about this atmosphere, bringing people together and just seeing your community? Um, it's just really great to see all the age differences. Uh, you know, we have everybody from age 90 to age, you know, brand, you know, newborn. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's, that's a great thing is that we have something for everybody. So there's something that everybody can enjoy. And uh, it's just, you know, getting to interact with a bunch of people from, from the area. And actually, we've had people come from as far as Toledo, oh, wow. uh, Dayton. So, yeah, it's, it's really wonderful to have an impact on the community like that. Who are some of the churches or organizations that come together to allow this to be a free event? Um, well, we have, of course, Westminster United Methodist Church. We have Herod Christian Church, um, Lafayette United Methodist, Westminster United Church of Christ. They've been generous enough to... Uh, allow us to use their parking lot and uh, they've also helped with uh, the past couple of years with uh, organizing the event. 
it's such a laid back event. I, I brought my two year old, three year old daughter and four year old son last year. It was just so much fun to get their face painted. The high school youth group gets involved, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, our high school youth group has been very uh, involved in the event and we're looking forward to having them back this year. All right, so that is July 26th right here in Westminster. Music in the park. You can come for the church service in the morning, but if you can't, make sure you come for lunch and then stay all afternoon for a wonderful, wonderful time of corporate praise and worship to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And then the next big event is coming up August 22nd. This one is growing by leaps and bounds every year. It's called Wayne Stock Living for the Rock, and it's in St. Mary's. And that's where we head next to find out where your next Stop will be for your free summer concert tour. Thank you, Andy and Jennifer. We're here at the site of Wayne Stock 2015. I'm joined by the event organizer, Keith Jacobs. Keith, what can we expect? Look, this place is going to be filled come the event, and we've got we've got a great event coming up, don't we? Yes, hopefully, hopefully. We had close to 7,000 people here last year, so we're hoping to get close to 10 this year and see if we can't fill this whole grassy area with people. So. What music can we expect to hear? Who will be performing this year? That's the great thing about Wayne Stock. We try to keep it as wide and as broad a spectrum of music as we can. Um, opening up, we have Waken Band, which is uh, the worship band at Wayne Street United Methodist Church. They're going to be followed by Hannah Beck. Uh, after that, after Hannah performs, we'll go into more of the national acts. Uh, Viridia is going to be on stage. They're kind of a rock and roll band, a little bit more higher energy. Uh, after them, I Am They, which is kind of a folksy uh, kind of music. Uh, Following I and they, we go to David Dunn, uh, and then after David Dunn, uh, we'll go to Seven Time Down and Plum, and then Sanctus Real will wrap us up that night. So, Lots of great music to look forward to. What has the mission been of Wayne Stock, and, and how has it evolved? The mission um, started out, you know, it was kind of a... a fundraiser for the church, but it quickly turned into, um, you know what, that's not what God's calling it to be. It's really about outreach and, and, and praise and worship. We, we basically try to make it very simple, try to get as many people here and, and just share what and share, share testimony from the stage and from, from connection with people and that kind of stuff. So now basically it's, it's, we're just trying to reach people for Christ. So, uh, and just having a good time doing it. And this event is free to the public. What um, can we expect when we come out? Like, what's what separates Wayne Stock from some of the other free festivals in in Northwest Ohio? It's it's you know it's a good it's a good time. We have basically we just ask you to bring lawn chairs and blankets, find a spot on the grass where you feel comfortable. Uh, concessions are going to be available all day. Uh, we've kept concession prices down so that way people can bring a family. Uh, you know see great performances, spend ten dollars on dinner and 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 go home and just and it feel good. It's just a uh, um, like I said, a very friendly oriented family oriented event for for everybody to come out, little kids, big kids, uh, old you know older generation, a mix of everybody. so. And what's been your favorite experiences at, at Wayne Stock and it's become this annual event now? Um, the, the amazing thing is it even happened, you know, each year I hear more and more positive feedback. Last year is actually uh, came from a, a very close friend of the family who said, you know, I've invited him for the last four years and, and he just kind of said, eh, it's not my thing. I really don't listen to music. You know, uh, he attends church on a regular basis, but he just, you know, that's just not, you know, this wasn't his. But for some reason, he felt like, you know, his wife wanted to come. So he felt like, ah, just come and we'll drive separate and, and I'll, I'll leave after the first couple bands. He goes, but, you know, shortly after the he getting here, he said it just felt felt different he felt like the holy spirit was tugging on his heart and said and then as the night progressed he said he, he almost he almost felt sheepish leaving because he said this was just it was just an amazing amazing night of, of worship and praise and, and testimonies so it should be a fantastic event again this year in 2015 let's remind everybody what is the date and the time when should everybody arrive to get to get in on the music and fun uh, August 22nd, Saturday. Uh, it uh, starts. Music will start at 1:45. Um, and actual show doesn't start till two, but we'll have music playing. You know, lead, as people come in, uh, and then it'll go all the way through until about 11 o'clock at night. Uh, it's free, so just come up, show, bring a blanket, bring a lawn chair. Uh, you know, bring a cooler if you want. Uh, that's fine as well, and just find a spot on the lawn to enjoy the show. Well, looking forward to it. Thank you so much for your time, Keith. Let's send it back to Annie and Jennifer, who I'm sure will be in attendance here at Wayne Stock. Thank you, Matt. Yes, I know I will be at that event. Are you? I hope to be there. Last year, I planned on going to Wayne Stock. I had a call, cold water volleyball invitational to call, rush back to the station, had it all edited, and then the computer crashed. So I had to edit it again, couldn't make it. But this year, I will be more efficient. I will make sure I save often on my computer project 
and we will be there. Hopefully. Of course, Awaken, <laughs> Awaken Band is always exciting. Hannah Beck will be singing. I'm excited about that. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why. I yeah. love it every time Hannah sings. Her brand new album will be out, so we're oh, wow. excited about we're that. Really excited then, about that. And then quite a lineup of national artists. Incredible. It is really good. Yeah, looking forward to Sanctus Real. They always put on a, a great show. The group from up in Toledo, they have all over Ohio every summer, it seems like, plus the national touring that they do. And Plum, uh, one of my favorites mm. from, from way back. Plum has reinvented herself. Uh, I remember God Shaped Hole and how she sang that when I was in college, you know, mm -hmm. and, and it was just such a great sh song because it shows us all how we do have that God Shaped Hole that only Jesus Christ can fill. And of course, Plum keeps bringing out current music that continues to do that very same thing, mm -hmm. fill that hole with Jesus Christ. Well, we want to remind you again, four incredible opportunities this summer to gather together, bring your unchurched friends. Yeah. You know, these are outdoor events. It's not inside a stuffy church. Everything is free. Uh, really a great opportunity to reach out this summer. And it's relaxing for families. You know, if you have kids that you're worried about, oh, they, they might be flying all over the place. That's okay. They're allowed to do that. Bring the Frisbee, you know, throw the football around, bring, bring the dog. I think dogs are probably allowed at most of these. Uh, Maybe not. I've never asked. Uh, I don't know. That's up to you if you want to bring the dog. Don't blame me if they say, get the dog out of here. But some food will be always an option as well. So check it out and bring your friends and family. Uh, it's just going to be a great time to fellowship and be encouraged. That's right. So July, in the middle of July, and then to the middle of August, your calendar is set for hmm. summer concerts with top-notch, chart-topping bands coming to this area, and the price is right. The price <laughs> is free. Well, we want to close today's show now with that artist, as Andy said, who's got an incredible ability with her lyrics to fill the holes in our life with Jesus Christ. And we take you now to Plum's newest music video. Watch this and then plan to see her live in concert August 22nd. 